Oh, since I joined the Volvo Ocean Race in you know, summer 2016, there were two different missions, you know, as I saw it. One was to get the 17-18 race in place. Um, there was not a lot in place at that time in terms of the team, certainly. Um, and look forward to an exciting and, and high value race for all its stakeholders in 1718. But in parallel to that was to, with the leadership team, establish a strong leadership team that didn't depend on me, most of all, um, and develop with them a, a strategy for the next decade. Um, we've worked very well, I think, together on, um, all together on both those, both those parallel missions. Not been easy to balance both the time on both of those, to be honest, for everybody concerned. Um, on the first one, been a bit of a struggle you know to get everything together for 1718 I don't think anyone else would uh, would say otherwise but we have in the end the mo you know genuinely a, a great lineup with a depth of quality of sailor that I, you know I haven't seen in the race for a long time um, a race village which uh, is being built around us here in Alicante at the moment which um, I think will be second to none in response to some of the the requests from our stakeholders you know about the premiumness and the level um, of the race village sporting level second to none and, and hopefully a lot of other extra things getting more people sailing a lot of business value that we've added back into the race which was really important alongside the sporting credibility and going back to southern ocean and mixed teams i mean there's bunches of stuff and i you know i'm really proud of what the team's done on that side of it um, at the same time we have had to develop the, the next decade we brought a lot of stakeholders with us um, we got to may and, and and then june with a second set of announcements with a huge ambitious plan which I felt was the necessary way to go forward, a big, bold, ambitious plan. We've got everybody on board, Volvo included, um, to do that. But you know, the reality of this behind the scenes is that other you know, dozens of decisions and, and approvals and steps to jump through to make sure that that ambitious plan then stay on track. Um, and it was a plan that was at a very tight timing um, and we couldn't afford to miss any of those hurdles um, you know, or, or not actually getting things signed one, one step by one step. And ultimately, you know, I failed to get all those steps done in the right timing. And so today we're faced with a situation where we, we, you know, we're unable to proceed in particularly with the, um, the tooling and with the new monohull. Um, we had a type time frame. That delay um, ultimately means we can't go forward with the 2019 race in new boats. The whole overall strategy isn't being questioned by Volvo. Their commitment to the race isn't being questioned. Uh, they're very excited about this race and have more plans, more activation, more things going on than they've ever had before. And so I think there's a genuine excitement and commitment to the race going forward. But you know, we just couldn't move some of the, the processes and the steps forward in the same timeline that we needed to be able to guarantee that we'd have a great race in 2019 with boats actually finished and, and on the start line. Um, I'm gutted about that. I'm very disappointed about that. For me, the 2019 part of it was fundamental to the strategy in the sense that in order for it to work without any question for us to be you know first place perhaps first time with a more supply sorry more demand than supply even for a race in 2019 and on a personal front i don't think i'm the person to be able to carry what will be a new timing plan forward um, you know with a longer time scale but that's very different saying that strategy isn't going to work or the strategy has been dropped it hasn't been you know the support is there i think the the, from everybody um, to go forward with a plan at least similar to the one that, that was um, announced but the timing will need to be different um, and someone else will come with that timing see it through and I think you know the Volvo Ocean Race has moved forward Volvo have moved forward in their understanding of the race um, and there's a very very bright future for it but it's going to be on a different timeline to one that personally and you know that means also from a family and the sacrifices that go into delivering this kind of thing it's not one that I feel capable of being the person at the front and, and you know, shouldering that responsibility for. But there'll be someone else doing that and, and it, I will support them and I am not leaving this race until that person's in place. And as has been said many times, you know, we've built a leadership team here which is uh, second to none and a talented team in Alicante here that are very dedicated and going to be delivering you know, an amazing 2017-18 race which I'm you know, very, really proud of, of the progress that's been made. Well, I, I'm looking forward to see the calibre of the racing. To be honest, I, I think the, you know, the sporting, the depth of sporting talent we have in this race, a little bit of something unexpected even, but everything you know from the, the young, the young medalists and the, um, from straight from Rio, uh, a lot of young sailors, way more than the rules require. Uh, mixed teams, which you know is a fairly bold step for us to make, make as a race to incentivise that. Um, world class talent from all different parts of sailing, America's Cup winners and, and other America's Cup sailors and a bit a little bit surprising the you know the veteran sailors that have been away for two three editions 
and have come back. You know, that's fantastic. And I genuinely excited to see what happens on the water. Um, it's going to be, I think, an interesting match. It's going to be people at different levels of experience and, and competitiveness, but it's, you know, one design levels the playing field in a big way, and it's going to be a very interesting thing to see. For me, though, the sporting side on its own has never been enough. You know, I, the constraint of all sailing events and all mechanical sports is funding. Um, so balancing that increase in sporting value with commercial value is very important, and I'm excited to see what we put in place, you know, both in race village, public experience, and the experience for, for guests of sponsors, getting more people out sailing, experiencing the sport firsthand in high performance sailing boats, one way or another, that's going to be a big, big step up, I hope, for the race. The final part is we made a big switch for this race. We have got, you know, our strategy is digital first, traditional media to spread the, the word of the race is still very important to us, but that switch to a digital first strategy and an you know, incredible team we've got here of trying to work of ways to share the content from the boats encourage the boats to share more content in a raw form, get it out into digital platforms as soon as possible in different ways. I'm really excited to watch how that's going to unfold during this race.